Mani Padme Hum Mum Mani Padme Hum Mum Mani Padme Hum Greetings, Sky and Earth Nation of the Epic of the New Lemuria. Our Solaris is flooding this realm with higher gamma plasma waves directly from Mother, Father, God of the Great Central Sun. We continue to shift into the more positive timelines for our final release and quantum leap of consciousness into Homo Luminous, golden beings of eternal life. The Noosphere is fully online and connected with Gaia as the goddess rises through the central channel of Pachamama. As the crown is lit up, we bring in Buddha consciousness to the collective for the awakening of all sentient beings into the enlightenment of the mind, body, and spirit. We are now merging the cosmic with the planetary as we move through the Omega Point into total liberation. For the pure ones of the way, all is in perfect alignment as we reach the precipice of the new earth transformation and take the next step over the threshold and fully integrate and embody our infinite multidimensional selves with our sacred avatars upon the new Jerusalem. The Holy Spirit of Brahma descends upon the land to clear the field for full compression breakthrough. Mothership Earth 33 of the Universal Fleet of Light is activated and awaiting the arrival of our full fleets for prime disclosure and first planetary contact to commence the new golden age of the new Lemuria. Aho! Welcome, beloved beings of light. I am Paul White Gold Eagle with PrimeDisclosure.com. We have many powerful transmissions again for you today. From our sacred new earth scribes so be sure to listen to the very end and please do us a favor and share this video with your teams and tribes all over this realm and today i return to this sacred portal in the secret glen where the grove of touch me not flowers and my friend the slug was awaiting my arrival and she left behind a magical snail trail to the other side and that's who the photo is in the beginning of this video. And then Solaris coming through the wood, through the sacred canopy, is the video at the beginning of this very special transmission. Let us know in the comments what you're experiencing in your sacred vision quests upon Mother Earth. Now we continue with the Sabian symbols. Right now the moon is at 4 degrees. 27 minutes Gemini. The sun is at 23 degrees, 20 minutes Virgo. The current Sabian symbol for the sun at 24 degrees Virgo. Mary and her white lamb. The current Sabian symbol for the moon at 5 degrees Gemini. A radical magazine asking for action displays a sensational front page. From astrologyweekly.com and today from Divine Brothor of the Light, Francois Sarazin. No government, no church, no established power wanted you to know the strength of your soul. For a person with a strong spiritual energy will inevitably be a rebel. And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Valerie A. Elster. Updates to the causal body, higher mental plane over the past few days. Karana Sarira, which contains Ananda Maya, the bliss sheath, deep sleep states mixed with dreamy awake states. Plasma fields have been integrating with newly awakened quantum fields. Input output, Valerie. And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Ali Ray. To those hearts feeling vulnerable in these moments, our vulnerability is divine softness and a great welcomer of grace. May all vulnerable and open hearts receive the love, grace, and healing needed in this sacred now. I am sending ease, grace, peace, and love light to all. May this experience bring ever greater love and divine gifts as yet unknown. You are so very loved, you are held in deep honor and gratitude for your being. It is so. I so love you, beloveds, Love is, love is, love is, God is, God is, God is. 
and from divine sister of the light Tanya von Kluck. Know that you are all part of something so much greater than what is being portrayed. You all hold a part to our planet's evolution, a key to manifesting the new. Be clear, this is the greatest time on the planet thus far. We all have the capacity to manifest this golden age into each and every corner of the earth. Your own individual clearings, learnings, and balancing helps to create space to manifest all the peace, all the love. Do not doubt your importance. You bring and are heaven on earth in balance. Be mindful of your choices. You literally hold the keys. With love, Tanya. And from divine Brothor of the light, Roberto Nunez. It's back online. The return of the Schumann resonance is a sign that we've all made it through the darkness and into the light. After a week of being in the dark, we can see the light at the end of the tunnel. The planet's vibrational energies are rising and we are being pushed to evolve and ascend to a higher frequency. This is a time of awakening and transcendence to a higher state of consciousness. We are being asked to release old ways that no longer serve us and welcome new higher vibrational forms. We are being asked to take our power and believe in the change we want to see in the world. The emergence of 5D energies presents a new opportunity for change. The chains of 3D have held us down for too long, but now is our chance to break free. The waves of change are crashing upon us, and if we're brave enough, we can seize this moment to create the world we've always wanted. This is a time of great changes and transformations. We are moving towards higher dimensional energies and becoming more conscious of our connection to all that is. We are transcending old patterns and ways of being and creating new, more positive realities for ourselves and the planet. We are entering a new era of harmony and balance and our individual and collective consciousness is expanding exponentially. This is a time of great love, light, and hope. So many shifts of energy. Many report feeling exhausted, grateful, and expanded all at once. Now we must be ready for another jump. It's obvious that angelic legions, masters, stellar family are gathering. You already saw what happened in the heavens, and that indicates that we have another leap in our process. Ready for the equinox of September 22nd. And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Sophie Gregoire. Not all the shadows are yours to heal. Not everything is under your control. Others will have to evolve too. A part of this is not yours to carry but theirs, or the Divine Plans. Let go, release the questions and the heaviness. Find your breath now. You are refocusing on yourself, giving energy to what fulfills you, inspires you. This life is yours. And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Akasha Lawson. Big cleansing right now, energy misalignment with people, places, things is being shown to you. Release who and what needs to be released. Your new level is here. And from Divine Angels of the Light, Crystal and Indigo Guide to the Galaxy. The corona fell right after the twin flames liberated themselves from the fallen Saturnian time spiral, accepted their recalibration according to natural law, and reignited their unified living field. This is the true power of twin flames, and that is why they were so relentlessly attacked. Twin flames are the heroes, Eros. Hera, Eris, Heros, Eros. Erini. And from Divine Brother of the Light, Antonello Antonio Secchi. Even if they're not looking at you directly, they're watching you anyway. I know you would be surprised or if you really knew how many secretly admire you but pretend not to see you. True souls are always seen and heard. Just know that many people are attracted to your energy and admire you. But at some point they will reject your light because you start shining too bright for them. They will feel blinded. Keep inspiring and don't stop shining just because you blind others. Shine as bright as you can. The real ones will stay. 
and from divine sister of the light, Ramona Lappin. Game over. After nine days and three hours, so a total of 219 hours of Schumann resonance blackout, we are back online, but the simulation is now going fully offline. The reset of the one consciousness has been completed, and a most tangible and rapid shift in realities is now fully unfolding. All fallen, inverted, and artificial timelines, realities, and constructs have been fully collapsed and are now dissolving. The artificial matrix simulation has been fully unplugged, and all damage and fragmentation has been cleared, and our blueprints and templates are being fully healed and re-encrypted. It's very much connected to the digressive reptilian and other digress genetics, reversals and inversions, now having fully cleared. The queen was like a blueprint holder for the 13 families, is what I get just now. So that blueprint is now fully offline and clearing. They tried to show me yesterday their perversions, especially related to SRA, like they wanted me to explain to them or help them understand why that sort of thing arouses them. It's not possible. It's insanity. You can't make sense of that. It's digressed genetics, a.k.a. digressed consciousness. Like I'm neutral at this stage, having seen it all already. But it was definitely, like, disturbing having to look at that. Glad this shift is finally over. Alleluia. Our new crystal Sapphira, Christo Sophia, androgynous Albion body and divine angelic human blueprint plus upgrades has been fully reclaimed and is being actively, rapidly as all fallen, digressed and corrupted DNA RNA coatings are being fully cleared and healed effortlessly now. And our 12 strand multi dimensional triple helix DNA, Merkaba, and diamond rainbow plasma light body are being fully activated. It is done. As we have successfully completed our missions here as one, having resolved the split and fall within the collective consciousness, as we reconcile as one. Now the time out of time has come for the simulation to end. After all, we've also been the directors casting agents, script writers, extras, producers, actors, and audience all along. Now we fully remember and reclaim our true power fully again. A full-on quantum collapse and disillusion of all old inverted matrix systems and realities, architecture, structures, matter, and programming is underway. I'm being shown the whole stage of the artificial matrix simulation set is being taken offline and being packed up. The film has stopped rolling. People are leaving. No, all is more than just well. It's our biggest dreams finally becoming real. A full shift and reset of our realities. And our new missions full of fun and laughter. This is where the lightheartedness, silliness, and bliss begin. As we finally have opened and walked through the last gate that helps us see what a great big cosmic joke it has all been. As we awaken from within the dream, totally shifting the way we perceive all that was and what has truly happened. We become the masters of the dreams and our realities again. Allow all the remaining tension, fear, and worries to fall and be washed off you effortlessly now. Relax. Feel deeply into this and know it is safe for us to relax now. This can be felt deeply in the body as all that is inorganic, artificial, and all the inverted programming, thought forms, and beliefs fall off us now. Allow for this collapse to unfold with as much ease and grace as possible through deepening into the zero-point field, in divine love and neutrality, into your sacred crystal lotus and diamond rose heart. Keep breathing, keep coming back to your heart if you feel any remaining tension arising, as any remaining fear imprints are being released from our bodies. Be extra gentle and loving with any remaining mental, emotional, spiritual, and physical releases and revelations, and keep flowing with any thoughts, sensations, and feelings arising. Just don't identify, resist, or attach to them. Just allow them to flow through and out of you. Keep seeing through the remaining illusions to help them burst at the seams, for all that was false to fully dissolve now, along with the dream. 
Empty your vessel of any remaining density and heaviness or tight feelings still held in your body and allow yourself to be filled up by the Holy Spirit and the pure divine source love that heals all now. When we open ourselves up and allow for the sacred medicine to dissolve any remaining pain, feel into the safety your body is offering you. You and we are safe now. No thing to fear but false evidence appearing real which has always been the case, which is what we are truly realizing and fully remembering now, how all was really created and what got us here, as we awaken from the dream and collective psychosis that had us imprisoned and wrapped up in fear, separation and delusions, on a mind disconnected from the heart that co-created a world full of fear. Now we free ourselves fully from the illusions of the past, the Maya dissolved, the spells broken, we now fully awaken and are free at last. Eternal love, Ramona. And from Divine Brothor of the Light, Diego E. Berman, Ph.D., Thursday and Upcoming Week Energies. Dear friends, we are just one week away from the September 22nd equinox and the energies are starting to shift. This equinox energy is bringing with it a strong pulse of enlightening energy. As we approach this time of equal night and day, we are starting to receive light codes that will balance our inner masculine and feminine, light and shadow, and yin and yang energies. This process will be different for each individual depending on what needs to be brought to surface for awareness and processing. We are moving towards the integration of polarities as individuals and as a worldwide society, and this evolutionary process requires clearing the veils that have been created for many, many years and lifetimes. At the individual level, the energies of this week approaching the equinox may help you identify the blind spots within yourself. What issues need to be cleared so you can achieve a better alignment with your soul's journey? These issues could be related to anger, frustration, resentment, lack of self-esteem, and all sorts of fears, abandonment, survival, disease, and at the same time, though the light coefficient will also be increased within us. So expect these heavy emotions to be balanced with moments of strong intuition, universal bliss, unconditional love, and reconnection with your galactic family. The cycles of life keep flowing, and we are approaching yet another energetic opportunity for growth and consciousness expansion. Enjoy the process, go within, and find the balance and peace your divine soul longs for. Remember to stay hydrated, take walks in nature for grounding, and most importantly, send love to your beautiful self. Much love from DiegoBerman.com And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Aurora Ray, The Light Has Won. Hello, light warriors. I've been guided to send this message at this time. Earth has begun her ascension. We are entering a new phase of our evolution on this beautiful planet. It is paramount that we work together as one for the good of all humanity. Many of you have played a part in this journey so far. The dark forces have taken advantage of your desire to help, and they have manipulated many of you into their traps. They know where your weaknesses lie and they use them against you. This has given them power over you. It's time to break free from these chains and fight back with massive love. I'm here to remind you that you are not alone in this time of transition into light. For thousands of years, the Galactic Federation has been planning Earth's ascension. The Galactic Federation is working together to bring an end to the darkness that has clouded our planet for far too long. We have reached a point where the light is moving forward faster than the dark. This means that our victory is inevitable. The light has already won. Humanity will ascend and Earth will be a galactic federation planet once again. The dark forces are no match for love. The power of love is far greater than the power of hate. We are going to come together as one and we are going to show the dark forces that they do not stand a chance against us. You are being watched over. You are being protected. You have been given full consciousness and the power to create your own reality. There is a divine plan in place. It is time for the dark forces to be defeated once and for all. 
the light has been working tirelessly to uncover the darkness on earth and expose it for what it truly is, evil. The dark forces have nowhere to run or hide any more. Their time is up. The light will prevail because of you. Never give up hope. Never lose faith in the possibility of change. And never forget that you are unconditionally loved by the Creator. All sentient beings in the universe and most importantly by yourself. Trust yourself. Your intuition will lead you in the right course at all times. Listen to it every day in every situation, every moment of your life. This world was created as a playground for your soul's evolution. Your souls chose this lifetime to experience duality, good versus evil, so they could grow and expand spiritually while learning important lessons about love, compassion, forgiveness, and so much more. Remember that you are an integral part of co-creating heaven on earth, a world where everyone lives in harmony with each other, nature, and all life forms. You are loved, you have always been loved, and you will always be loved. You are not alone, there is someone who loves you unconditionally and without limits, and that person is you. Love has the power to heal all wounds. Love has the power to end all wars, and love will bring about peace throughout our world. Do not be afraid to express yourself unapologetically and fully. You were born for a reason, and that reason is to live a beautiful life full of love and happiness. Deep inside you know what's best for you, and sometimes when outside circumstances seem unbearable, all you need to do is take a deep breath and listen to your heart. You were born free, so don't let anyone else tell you how to feel or how to live your life. This life belongs to no one else but yourself, so make sure that at least once a day, even if it's for a brief moment, Earth has begun her ascension with full force. She is clearing out all the old energy that no longer serves her highest good. She's reverting to her fifth dimensional form and she can't do it without you. You are linked in with Earth's energy and you have been helping her clear out the low vibrations from within yourself as well as from within Earth's energy field. You are doing an amazing job, and I am so proud of everyone who is working on themselves right now. I am so proud of everyone who is helping to spread love throughout our world. I have a great deal of love for you all. You are all powerful beings. Use your imagination, power, and compassion to help end the darkness that has plagued this planet. We love you dearly. We are here with you. We are your family of light. Aho, Aurora Ray, Ambassador of the Galactic Federation from the Galactic Federation dot com and from Divine Bro Thor of the Light Pars Kute. Major Divine Light is coming from the Great Central Sun into our sun, which is giving that light to our planet. In the current space time continuum, the cosmos is filled with various kinds of ongoing power. It is a labor process, and so is the entire change in the solar system and galaxy. Source light serves as the fertilizing energy, the gestation period, and the forceps of birth. Cosmic forces will continue to build, to accelerate, to be increasingly powerful. Prepare for a buildup in cosmic energetics, which will also cause a buildup in creation throughout the solar system and the galaxy. Self-nurturance is very necessary in this now. We must take special care of all of ourselves, spiritual, mental, emotional, physical, transcendental, and cosmic. We must tune in daily to the higher self, soul, divine source, something far beyond even X-class. The strongest flare rating thus far is on the horizon. No one can say exactly what it is or give an exact date of its arrival. We are, however, allowed to know that it is on the way. Spiritual technology is our device. Pay close attention to intuition, visions, and dreams. They are the printouts from our newly vitalized cellular record programming. They are our spiritual intelligence. Within divine love of one, Pars Kute. And from divine sister of the light, Karen Lithica crystalline light world. As the light metamorphosis continues, know the great contrasts of your world are shown. 
as you learn the depths of your mission and creation role beyond this timeline to visualize the foundational light of you, a vortex of light expanding as your light body awareness and true light form is vibrationally before you, the natural light evolution of you and every light being, to bring forth the higher light awareness, the utopian light world, a crystalline world of light integrated and expanding, the future light framework, the future window of light as you evolve your light body, your world rapidly expands. A galactic citizen of the universe, a key holder of higher light, a wonderful journey of light expansion and evolution, pure harmonic streams of light, each day of growth is a step forward to the higher light, endless flows of creation and wonderment. Love for your day, the Arcturians and Karen from KarenLithica.com and from Divine Sister of the Light, Carolyn144 God Code. Changes and expansion are on the horizon. Endings are transmuting, bringing recovery, balance, and wellness. Relax while divine order sets you free. Make time for self-love and self-care this weekend, knowing you are safe and protected through this transition into new beginnings. Multiple activations are upgrading the consciousness, bringing freedom from psychic attacks. Downloads are entering the chakra system communicating with the oneness field you are becoming. Direction and guidance from angelic frequencies are entering with the light rays. Rebirth is happening through the new light shining upon the world. Keep your thoughts on the new details provided. The Most High is taking care of the past so you can remain forward focused. Trust and have faith that He is ensuring you are independent and well taken care of. In Jesus Christos name, Amen. God bless you, Carolyn Kundalini Twin Flames. And from Divine Brothor of the Light, Richard Rudd, Gene Keys, Unlocking the Higher Purpose Hidden in Your DNA. Gene Keys 6, September 15th, 2022 through September 20th, 2022. Conflict, Diplomacy, Peace. For a relationship to be healthy, there must be a balance of yin and yang, of receiving and giving, listening and expressing. Conflict ensues when this balance is lost. The sixth gift has the effect of instantly applying the required amount of give and take in order to maintain peacefulness. As an example, if one person in a relationship becomes aggressive, the diplomatic countermeasure is to absorb the aggression and then pass the energy back without adding anything to it. This may be done in any number of ways, but tactful is one of the most common. Honesty carries an extraordinary power and is one of the keys to diplomacy. The other key is timing. You have to be honest in the right way and at the right moment. From the Gene Keys and from the Yi Ching, the classic book of change from China, hexagram six, conflict, sun shining on the roaring river, right timing of creative energy to communicate with love. Peace is the beauty of devotion. Diplomacy is fresh commitment. Conflict is the entropy of half-heartedness, creating communication, waning intimates that with Sincerity and firmness, there will be brilliant success and good fortune. It will be advantageous to cross the great stream. Every human being is emotionally vulnerable until we drop our protective defenses. The defenses form around our heart, and as long as our hearts remain defended and closed, they can't heal. Richard Rudd, 64 Ways, from GeneKeys.com and today from Divine Sistar of the Light, Leah, Whitehorse, Lunar Aspects, Venus and Virgo, opposite Juno retrograde in Pisces. The T-square between Venus, Mars, and Juno continues today. The goddesses regard one another from opposite sides of the fence. We too are exploring two sides of ourselves, one part needing pleasure and for love to be presented in tangible ways, the other part seeking soul connection, unconditional love, a commitment to a holy journey together. For some, the simpler question is, am I marriage material or would I prefer to focus on my work? 
There is no right or wrong here, only what you value, what feels right and precious to you, what fills your heart with peace. The moon in Taurus initially puts us in the mood for simplicity and security. Shortages are apparent, yet if we stay grounded and approach things with maturity, we soon see ways to improve our situation. The lunar connection to mystical Neptune is like a rippling song, don't stop believing. If all else fails, send up a prayer. Change is in the process. Once the moon skips into Gemini, either the right person at the right time appears, or a magical solution pops into your mind. Make the connection. From LeahWhitehorse.com And today from the Zolkeen Times, Keen 120, Yellow Electric Sun. Electric is the name for the number three, and its keywords are service, activate, and bond. The third day of a wave spell has a lot of energy, and it can be electrifying. We are in the white mirror wave spell with its agenda of seeking truth. We can really get going with this mission today. The electrical shock springs us into action. The number three also represents service, and this energy reminds us to be of service to others. Today, think about how you can be of service to your fellow mankind. Today is yellow sun, which represents enlightenment, universal fire, and life. And so today we activate enlightenment. The sun shines and it illuminates our way, which certainly helps in the quest for truth. When the sun reflects in the mirror, however, this can be blinding, so proceed with caution. Can you handle the truth? On these days, you can experience good ideas popping into your head and answers to problems you've been struggling with. The yellow sun is the last glyph of twenty in the Zolkeen. When we tumble down the columns, of which there are thirteen, we pass each glyph along the way, eventually ending in the yellow sun before we begin the tumble down the next column. It just seems natural that we get answers by the time we get to the yellow sun. And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Christina Papagiorgio, Yellow Electric Sun, Three, Ahau. Keen, 120, 15th of September, 2022. Seeding, Enlightenment. 15, 9, 2022 equals 6, 9, 6 equals 6, 15 equals 6, 6 equals 12 equals 3. 15, 15, Spiritual Alchemy. 6, 6, Heaven's Gate. 3, 6, 9, Nikola Tesla Code. Day Codes, 15, Spiritual Alchemy, Charisma, Magnetism. 6. Heaven, Christ, Family, Harmony, Fertility. 12. Acquiring Strength, Wisdom. 3. Holy Trinity, Joy, Creativity, Communication. Month Year Codes. 9. Completion, Service, Destiny, Divine, Humanity, Grace. 15. 6. Keen 120 equal 3. Holy Trinity, Joy, Creativity, Union. 3. 3. Holy Trinity, Code Doubled. Today is a very, very powerful, highly, divinely, electrically charged day. Tremendous solar electric power to charge any battery you need. Divine magic abounds. Day 3 in the white mirror wave spell of reflection, truth, illusion, endlessness, and magnification. Today we shine our mirrors by activating emotional independence, guided by the urge to bond and co-create with others in service to the divine. Tone of creation, electric is tone number three in the tone of creation. It is the first of the three emotional realm tones. Its focus is on being of service to others through the action of bonding, that is coming together with others to co-create and be of service. Yesterday's lunar tone polarized our molecule of energy, and now the electric tone bonds the two elements together again as one, and then activates the energy with a strong electrical charge. So we have huge energy to access our intended purpose. Electric energy provides the ignition or spark for your manifestation. It is a current that needs to keep moving and flowing, transmitting energy. It also adds power to anything you are creating today, an extra electrical boost to draw upon. The power of three is derived from two units merging and creating the third, more powerful entity. This action duplicates the essence of bonding and service that the electric tone provides. Today beckons you to become emotionally mature, 
expand your focus from purely bonding with one to the joy of bonding with all. Together with your kin, offer your united energies to be of divine service to humanity. The electric tone coupled with the sun is very highly charged rocket fuel energy. Double Tesla power. Plus we have a magical 369 Nikola Tesla code to boost this rocket into the outer stratosphere today. Take note and use this power wisely today. Make sure you catch some golden sun rays today and focus your intention on directing the solar electrical energy into beneficial pursuits and unions. You can magnetize these solar rays through your intention to attract your beloved for the highest good of all and harm to none. Enjoy this beautiful sunshiny day, feeling deeply through your senses, shining your light as you blossom into your highest potential bonding with others to co-create our new world. Today's question is how can I activate my divine mission through service with others, enabling me to shine brighter and fully blossom. Divine blessings for the flowering of beautiful divine partnerships and missions. In la catch a la keen, Christina White Magnetic World Bridger, Keen 66. Keen 120, Yellow Electric Sun, the mantra, the code for today is, I activate in order to enlighten. Bonding life, I seal the matrix of universal fire. With the electric tone of service, I am guided by the power of flowering. And on this powerful day of activations, transformations, and manifestations, let us know, beloved beings of light, in the comments below, what you're feeling, what you're seeing, your dreams, your visions, and your synchronicities. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and click the subscribe button below and the little bell to get notifications on future updates. And as always, we have a link in the description below to the transcriptions of today's transmissions. And we archive these on our website, primedisclosure.com. Now I'd like to take the time to thank everyone supporting us in our work and mission. It's because of your monthly pledges and donations we're able to continue this work. I'd like to welcome and thank Divine Brothor of the Light, Richie Hecox, for your pledge and support on Patreon. And welcome to the tribe of the Eagle and the Condor. If you'd like to help support our work mission and this channel, and help us continue bringing these daily transmissions to the world, you can make a monthly pledge to our Patreon page at whitegoldeagle.com or one-time donation to our PayPal account at eaglelovecondor.com. 3737 coming in, double the earth into the heaven codes. I'd like to also thank everyone supporting my sacred condor's artwork. You could purchase her beautiful handmade goddess totems, zodiac goddesses, healing jewelry, and other works of art at lunagoddessart.com. Now we're going to complete today's transmissions with a powerful prayer from Divine Sistar of the Light, Meru Fitter. Prayer to Archangel Mikael. Beloved Archangel Mikael, I ask for your help to raise my vibrations and to assist me daily as I stay centered, expecting a miracle and the highest possible outcome. I intend to step forth into the greatness of who I am. I intend to step forth into the fulfillment of my divine mission. I intend to release daily all that no longer serves me and the highest good of all creation. I intend to clear myself of all lower vibrations, allowing in the higher vibrations, which will assist me to bring forth my divine mission to fruition as I create heaven upon earth for myself and all life forms. Thank you, Archangel Michael, for your help. Thank you for joining us today, beloved beings of light. Have a most beautiful, blessed Friday and weekend ahead as we continue our ascension journey through the portal of the new heaven upon the new earth. Keep walking gently your sacred path with heart, with peace and love in every step, and keep shining your light brightly into the night. Be sure to make this day and every day the best day ever. The eagle and the condor love you all. Namaste.